What Salesforce certifications will give you the edge as a developer in 2024? I'm Walters954, a team times certified Salesforce MVP. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top three Salesforce developer certifications that you should get in 2024, whether you're just getting started out or looking to level up your skills. Getting Salesforce certified is a great way to boost your credibility and show employers that you can talk the talk and walk the walk. Now there are a ton of Salesforce certifications, and it's hard to know which ones to focus on. As a developer, ideally you want to focus on the developer certifications, but there are other certs that can really help boost your employability and your career. Let's jump into the first developer certification that you should get, and to the shock of absolutely nobody, it is the Platform Developer 1 certification. This one is excellent for building your credibility and showing the fundamental aspects of Salesforce development. This is a fundamental certification showing that you know the basics of Apex along with things like triggers, asynchronous automations, error handling, and it really broadens out to a bunch of different areas that is important for any Salesforce developer. This certification really opens the door to a lot of different opportunities. And as soon as you get this one, put it on your LinkedIn, lots of recruiters and hiring managers will be DMing you and wanting to look at your resume and look at your code. This cert normally takes about six months to one year of rigorous studying, especially if you don't have a coding background, but stick around to the end and I'll tell you different ways of speeding up your process for studying and passing this certification. Platform Developer 1 is pretty tough, especially if you don't have a coding background. This was actually the first certification that I ever attempted and I failed it miserably. But the one big thing, a key takeaway from that is that I did not give up, right? Now I'm 18 times certified and that was just a bump in the road, a little bit of failure that pushed me even further to progress farther in my Salesforce career. Platform Developer Developer 2 is the next certification Salesforce developers should get if they're really trying to show their expertise on the Salesforce platform. So this cert is all about building complex applications and making sure they can scale appropriately inside of Salesforce. There are a lot of advanced development concepts and techniques that you need to know to be able to pass this certification. This is more of a senior level developer certification and it's recommended to have three to five years of hands-on experience doing actual development on the Salesforce platform before going for this one. But I've known people who have been able to get it sooner. It really just depends on what you're overall development experience is like. This one really validates your high level Salesforce development expertise. And if you have this, once again, LinkedIn recruiters and hiring managers will be coming after you for those more complex roles. And you'll see those salaries start to get a lot higher once you have this certification. As a mentor, I also recommend this certification for people who are kind of stalling out in their development career. Maybe you've been with a company for four or five years and you're not seeing a lot of growth from where you currently are as a developer, right? And you want to progress to that higher type of salary and that higher position. So grabbing Platform Developer 2 can really give that indicator either to your employer or light a fire under their butt as soon as you start getting some additional offers from other companies to give you that raise or to add to your title. I personally didn't attempt this certification until I had four years of experience and it was really tough, but I did end up getting it. Another really hot certification is the Omni Studio Developer Cert. Now this one is all about the industry clouds. Grabbing this certification means you know how to use the complex and robust tools of Omni Studios. So things like Data Raptors, Flex Cards, and Omni Scripts. Now I have not personally worked on Omni Studio before, but I get a lot of LinkedIn messages from recruiters that want me to either learn or work on Omni Studio projects. Industry clouds are definitely an emerging tech niche inside of Salesforce 
And I would personally look into this if I was looking for a new role just because of all of the buzz and hype around these positions. If you've never worked with or heard of Omni Studio, there are a bunch of trailhead trails and of course YouTube videos out there for you to learn. But from what I understand, it's a lot of HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So web languages that if you know Apex or if you're coming from other tech stacks, you should be able to pick up very quickly. Now, those are the top three certifications that I think you should get in 2024 as a developer, but there are some honorable mention certifications that you should pick up. To begin with, the associate certifications. So these are the Salesforce associate and the AI associate. So Salesforce Associate is just the beginner understanding certification that you can grab. I think it's good if you're just starting out to show your interest in Salesforce. And very similarly, the Salesforce AI Associate shows that you understand some of the emerging technologies and terminology around AI. Another cert that I highly recommend is the JavaScript Developer One certification. If you're into web development or building out Lightning Web components, this is a very good one to pick up because a lot of times companies love to have custom user interfaces built out where Salesforce's out of the box functionality does not meet their requirements. Another cert that'll give you a lot of bang for your buck is the integration architect certifications. Companies love integrations and it's very rare that Salesforce is the only platform that a company is running its business on. So grabbing an integration certification will signal that you are proficient and building out different types of integrations so companies can work more efficiently and streamlined. If you're looking to pass the Platform Developer 1 certification faster than that six month plus timeline, then check out Cloud Code Academy, which is a program I've built to hyper focus on getting hands on in development and learning those best practices. So once you go into the exam, you can actually read and understand the code that you are seeing as you're taking those questions questions. Also, look into your employer's education reimbursement programs. They may be able to cover the cost of different certifications or programs so that you can skill up and be more efficient as an employee. Let me know in the comments down below on these top three Salesforce certifications that I think Salesforce developers should get. Do you agree? Disagree? Are there other certs that are more important in your mind? Let me know. Do you want to become a Salesforce developer but don't know where to start? check out this video that gives you a roadmap of Salesforce development in 2024. As always, I'm Walters954. Thanks so much for watching and I believe in you.